Hello guys, welcome to the Immortal Gladiator unboxing and setup tutorial. Feel free to skip around if you already watched the previous generation setup. I won't be talking too much during this unboxing, but for the setup, I'll just touch on the major points. And here we have the new Immortal DMA Gladiator. Uh, the top port is the standard communication. Bottom port is for flashing the firmware. In the middle is the new on-off switch. And here we have the new heatsink and fan needed to keep our upgraded 75T chip cool. Uh, the fan is powered by 12 volts so it does get loud and if you want to leave it unplugged you could do so at your own risk. The first thing we're going to do is put the bracket on and you want to make sure everything's aligned properly before you try to screw it in place. Great. We're going to want to go ahead and remove the plastic wrap now from the thermal pad and apply to our 75T chip to allow good contact with the heatsink. When installing the heatsink, make sure you align it and insert it correctly as shown in this video. Go ahead and make sure that the heatsink wire is coming from the bottom left of the heatsink so the distance between the power output is and the fan is short enough for the wire to connect. Alright, you're ready to move on and insert this into your PC now. Go ahead and give it a once over, make sure everything's connected properly, and admire how good it looks. Make sure the PC you're plugging this device into is off with the power unplugged. Gladiator can be plugged into any PCI X1 slot and above. X4, X8, X16 all works. M2 even may work if you have a conversion. Uh, for this example, we are going to go ahead and use the primary GPU slot. Make sure to follow our recommended BIOS settings in the tutorial page for the website for this PC. Alright, to move on to the next part of our tutorial, you're going to go ahead and need to connect the communication port of your DMA to the second PC. Make sure your connection is at least to a USB 3.0 port on the second PC. That's usually marked in blue, otherwise you will suffer speed issues. Welcome to the Gladiator software tutorial. If you've watched our previous Warrior video, this is pretty much the same thing. Make sure this is the second PC that is connected via USB to your DMA. Now the first thing you want to do is head over to Windows Security 
and disable real-time protection and everything else while you're at it. You can turn this back on when you're done with the process. You want to go over to the immortaltech.net website, go to our downloads, go ahead and download the Gladiator files. Go ahead and click download anyway. Once you've downloaded, drag it onto your desktop. The password is immortal. Go ahead and drag that folder out. First thing you want to do, open it up, is go ahead and use Defender Controller to completely disable your Windows Defender. Next thing you're going to do is the DL patch. So you're going to go ahead in here, open up File Explorer, go to this PC, go to your local disk, go to Windows. Once you're in the Windows folder, you're going to go ahead and drag these two in here. Make sure you do not replace any files, only add. Go ahead and paste that in here. And it's going to say some of them are the same. And go ahead and skip these files. Awesome. Next thing you want to do is install the driver. Go ahead and go to driver installer. Go to the new version. And click up setup. Go ahead and run that. Install it. Great. You can also go back here, make sure you installed everything. Awesome. Okay. You should be pretty much good to know by now. Um, what you can do is go to your device manager and check that your FD601 device is properly installed. And it'll be right here working properly. If you do not see this, uh, there are a few things you can do. If this is a warning label, you might want to manually install this driver and you can do that right here on the old version and drag this in there. The next thing you can do if this is not showing up at all is actually either power cycle your PC this is the PC with the DMA installed via the PCIe slot not your second PC or you could restart your DMA while the PC itself is on sometimes that will also fix it Make sure you also check your USB connections. Alright, once everything is good to go, you're going to go ahead and run the DMA test. And right here, just double click on the lone DMA test and you can run a full test. Great, so looks like all the speeds is good, passes the test. Um, there are a few issues that can come up and you can read this right here and it should show you any issues you could have. Uh, usually you'll solve your issue by power cycling or changing the USB cable. There are a few other things we have included. The visual distribution issue, this could help sometimes. And the firmware flash tool, here's our tutorial for that one. Great. Once you're done with your setup, you can go ahead and re-enable Defender, Windows Defender Security. So you can do that. You can go ahead and enable Windows Defender and delete Defender Controller because Windows Defender considers it malware. Alright guys, that's about it. Thanks for your purchase or interest in Immortal. Um, if you need any more support, go ahead and reach out to our email support at immortaltech.net. I'll see you in the next one.